Quranism Arabic, al al describes any form of Islam that accepts the Quran as the only sacred text through which God revealed himself to humankind, but rejects the religious authority, reliability, and or authenticity of the Hadith collections. Muslims that follow the Quran alone are called Quranians, Quranists or Quranites, they believe that God's message in the Quran is clear and complete as it is, and that it can therefore be fully understood without referencing the Hadith. Quranists affirm that the Hadith literature is apocryphal, as it had been written three centuries after the death of the Islamic prophet Muhammad, thus, it cannot have the same status as the Quran. Quranic Islam is similar to movements in Abrahamic religions such as the Karaite movement, the Sadducees, the Samaritans, and the Essenes in Judaism and the Sola Scriptura view of Protestant Christianity as well as the King James only movement in Christianity. Hadith rejection has sometimes been associated with Muslim modernists. In matters of faith iman, and jurisprudence, fiqh, Quranists are pitted against Ahl al Hadith. The people of Hadith, which comprises Sunnis, Shias, and Abadis, who first emerged two centuries after the death of Muhammad as a movement of Hadith scholars who considered the Hadiths to be authority in matters of law and creed. <laughs> Terminology Adherents of Quranic Islam are referred to as Quranists Arabic, Quranian translit. Quranian, or people of the Quran Arabic, al -al translit. Ahl al -Quran. This should not be confused with Allah e Quran, which is an organization formed by Abdullah Chakralawi. Quranists may also refer to themselves simply as Muslims, submitters, or reformists. Topic. Doctrine The extent to which Quranists reject the authenticity of the Hadithist Sunnah varies, but the more established groups have thoroughly criticized the authenticity of the Hadith and refused it for many reasons, the most prevalent being the Quranists say that Hadith is not mentioned in the Quran as a source of Islamic theology and practice, was not recorded in written form until more than two centuries after the death of Muhammad, and contain perceived internal errors and contradictions. Quranists believe that God's message in the Quran is clear and complete as it is, and that it can therefore be fully understood without referencing the Hadith. Quranic verses such as 2454, 33-21 enjoin the believers to emulate Muhammad and obey his judgments, providing scriptural authority for following the Quran alone, since the example Muhammad left was to follow the Quran alone as seen in 46-9, 7-203, 10-15. Quranists believe since Muhammad delivered and spoke the Quran, his judgment in his capacity as a messenger is the same as that of God. Quranists believe the Quran was written down in scriptural form during the time of Muhammad. History The Quranist ideology dates back to the time of Muhammad. Since the Hadiths were not compiled until two centuries after the death of Muhammad, Quranists believe the Quranic ideology influenced the early Umayyad Caliphate. According to Quranists, the Caliphs of Islam who succeeded the Prophet Muhammad were Quranists, such as Abu Bakr, Umar ibn al-Khattab, Uthman ibn Affan, Ali ibn Abi Talib, and Muawiyah etc. During the Abbasid dynasty, the poet, theologian, and jurist, Ibrahim and Nazm founded a madhab called the Natsamiya that rejected the authority of hadiths and relied on the Quran alone. His famous student, al-Jahiz, was also critical of those who followed hadith, referring to his hadithist opponents as al-Nabita, the contemptible. A contemporary of an Nazm, al Shafi'i, tried to refute the arguments of the Quranists and establish the authority of hadiths in his book Kitab Jimal. 
and Ibn Qutayba tried to refute an Natsim's arguments against Hadith in his book Tawil Muqtalif al-Hadith, despite the fall of the early Umayyad Caliphate, according to historian Daniel W. Brown questioning the authenticity of the Hadith continued during the Abbasid dynasty and existed during the time of al-Shafi'i when a group known as Alul Kalam, who argued that the prophetic example of Muhammad is found in following the Quran alone, rather than Hadith. Daniel W. Brown describes Ahl al-Kalam as one three main groups in the time around the second century of Islam Ahl al-Rari and Ahl al-Hadith being the other two clashing in polemical disputes over sources of authority in Islamic law. Ahl al-Kalam agreed with Ahl al-Hadith that the example of Muhammad, the Prophet of Islam, was authoritative, and it rejected the authority of Hadith on the grounds that its corpus contradicted the message of Muhammad in the Quran and was "...filled with contradictory, blasphemous, and absurd." reports, and that in jurisprudence, even the smallest doubt about a source was too much. Thus, they believed, the legacy of the Prophet Muhammad was to be found in the Quran alone. Later, a similar group, the Mutazilites, also viewed the transmission of the Hadith as not sufficiently reliable. The Hadith, according to them, was mere guesswork, conjecture, and bidder innovation, while the Quran was complete and perfect, and did not require the Hadith or any other book to supplement or complement it. In South Asia during the 19th century, the Ala Quran movement formed partially in reaction to the Ala Hadith, whom they considered to be placing too much emphasis on Hadith. Many Ala Quran adherents from South Asia were formerly adherents of Ala Hadith but found themselves incapable of accepting certain Hadiths. In Egypt during the early 20th century, the ideas of Quranists like Muhammad Tawfiq Sidki grew out of Salafism i.e. a rejection of Taklid. Organizations. <laughs> 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 Topic: Ala Quran. Ala Quran is an organization formed by Abdullah Chakralawi, who described the Quran as a san hadith, meaning most perfect hadith, and consequently claimed it does not need any addition. His movement relies entirely on the chapters and verses of the Quran. Chakralawi's position was that the Quran itself was the most perfect source of tradition and could be exclusively followed. According to Chakralawi, Muhammad could receive only one form of revelation, wahi, and that was the Quran. He argues that the Quran was the only record of divine wisdom, the only source of Muhammad's teachings, and that it superseded the entire corpus of hadith, which came later. Topic. Kala Kato Kala Kato, a mere man said it, is an Islamist Quranist group which has been based in northern Nigeria and Niger for decades. The group has its origins in Cameroon. The term translates as, a mere man said it, in the Hausa language, referring to the non divine nature of Muhammad. One of the most well-known hadith rejecting leaders in Nigeria was the jihadist Maitatsin and Musa Makaniki. Others include a scholar Malam Isiyaka Salisu. Other notable Nigerian hadith rejectors include High Court Judge Isa Othman and scholar Malam Salah Idris Bello. Considering everyone not following their Quran alone beliefs heretical and infidels, Kala Kato's ideology has led to sectarian tensions and violence against Nigerian security forces, Sunnis, and Shias. The group has also been known for its killings of Sunni Salafist Boko Haram members. Topic. Malaysian Quranic Society The Malaysian Quranic Society was founded by Kasim Ahmed. 
The movement holds several positions distinguishing it from Sunnis and Shias such as a rejection of the status of hair as being part of the aura, therefore exhibiting a relaxation on the observance of the hijab, which according to Quranists is not in the Quran. Topic: <laughs> Quran Sunnat Society The Quran Sunnat Society is a Quranist movement in India. The movement was behind the first ever woman to lead a Friday congregation prayer in the country of India. It also maintains an office and headquarters within Kerala. There is a large community of Quranists in Kerala. Topic: <laughs> Submitters In the United States it was associated with Rashad Khalifa, founder of the United Submitters International. The group popularized the phrase, the Quran, the whole Quran, and nothing but the Quran. After Khalifa declared himself the messenger of the covenant, he was rejected by other Muslim scholars as an apostate of Islam. Later, he was assassinated in 1990 by a terrorist group. Those interested in his work believe that there is a mathematical structure in the Quran, based on the number 19. A group of submitters in Nigeria was popularized by High Court Judge Issa Othman. <laughs> Zumratul Jamiu Mumin Zumratul Jamiu Mumin is a Quranist movement in the Ogun state. The movement regards the hadiths as idolatry and un-Islamic. <laughs> Notable Quranists Ahmed Subhi Mansour born 1949, an Egyptian-American Islamic scholar. He founded a small group of Quranists, but was exiled from Egypt and is now living in the United States as a political refugee. Chekhana Morlavi, born 1936, disappeared 29 July 1993, a progressive Islamic cleric who lived in Edapal in Malappuram district of Kerala, India. He was noted for his controversial and unconventional interpretation of Islam based on Quran alone. He disappeared on 29 July 1993 under mysterious circumstances and is now widely believed to be dead. Edip Yuxel, born 1957, a Kurdish-American philosopher, lawyer, Quranist advocate, author of 19, God's Signature in Nature and Scripture, Manifesto for Islamic Reform and a co-author of Quran, a reformist translation. Currently teaches philosophy and logic at Pima Community College and medical ethics and criminal law courses at Brown Mackey College. Muhammad Marwa died 1980, better known as Mitatseen, House of the One Who Dams, which refers to his curse-laden public speeches against the Nigerian state. In December 1980, Yan Tatsin's Quranist militant jihadist rebellion against the Nigerian army and Sunnis and Shias led to the deaths of around 5,000 people. Musa Makaniki is a Nigerian Quranist. A close disciple of Mitatsin, he emerged as a leader and successor after his death. Rashad Khalifa (1935–1990), an Egyptian-American biochemist and Islamic reformer. In his book Quran, Hadith and Islam and his English translation of the Quran, Khalifa argued that the Quran alone is the sole source of Islamic belief and practice. However, he also claimed that parts of the Quran were fabricated, precluding him from being a strict Quranist. He further declared that the Hadith and Sunnah were satanic inventions under Satan's schemes. In the face of widespread anger and hostility by the Muslim world, Khalifa was stabbed to death on 31 January 1990 by Glenn Cusford Francis, a member of the terrorist organization, Jamaat al fukra Topic. See also 
jihadism. Kawari Liberal movements in Islam Non-denominational Muslim Rustamid dynasty Succession to Muhammad <laughs>